Hello everyone, Benair here with another Legends of Runeterra Champion Reaction. Yumi has just been released, so without further ado, let's jump into it and see We're off what on a new adventure. Does. I go New keyword attach. Play me on an ally to give it my stats and keywords. While I'm attached, when that ally leaves play, recall me. Just like Yumi does in League of Legends. And Yumi, we can see right here, is a three mana fey. Which makes sense because she's a familiar. And she's a 2-2 with attach. Play me on an ally. Round start. Uh, grant the unit I'm attached to plus one plus one. Otherwise, grant me plus one plus one in instead. Uh, and her level up condition is I or the unit I'm attached to have attacked three plus times. Um. Ooh. Uh, okay. Okay, so three mana to give a unit plus two plus two and round start plus one plus one. Three mana as a spell, as a, as a slow speed spell, three mana give a plus two plus two bonus, then round start give plus one plus one. That's not bad at all, actually. Like, and, and we haven't even seen her, the level up condition at all, so... Yeah, I say that that's a perfectly reasonable. Where you go? All right. What was that? Okay. Okay. I'm Biz. Your lunch. All right. Check the book. Plus one, plus one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, play me on an ally to give it my stats and keywords while I'm attached. All right, so it, it just has it's a two one, so four mana to give something plus two plus one and lose it. Okay. mana burst to give an ally like barrier back. or spell shield for a round, okay? Today, we say... Playtime! I mean, uh, enough! Enough! Swat! Swat! Zoom! Bleed! Still we must! Plus one. Okay. What is Yumi's level up though? Come on, let's see it. Let's find a new best friend! Alright. Time to turn the page! Alright. Uh Yumi levels up and becomes a 3-3 spell shield when I level up around start grant the unit i'm attached to plus oh oh spell shield every round that is a spicy level up effect oh like and and spell shield right off the get-go so when you attack wait so i'm gonna guess when this unit attacks yumi levels up which means the unit should immediately get spell shield. Book. Yep. I will make the gods remember this day. The power of friendship. <laughs> That's a spicy level up condition. Okay. Okay. And lots of new cards to go over. Oh. Oh gosh, like okay. That level of I'll watch Let's it again. That level of animation friend. wasn't like the best in my opinion. It was okay. It's whimsical. Yumi doing cat things. But Yumi's level up is just really 
good. When I level up or round start, grant the unit I'm attached to spell shield and plus one plus one. And it's a grant spell shield. So even if your opponent, like, if you get it every round, it doesn't matter. But say they recall it, like it's just spell shield every round. You have to, you'd have to use two spells to get rid of it. But then if your opponent saves it, you have to use another two spells. Oh, that's so nutty. I gotta read Yumi again real quick. Hold up. Because something that confused me is... Yumi's here. Round start. Grant the unit I'm attached to plus one plus one. Ah! Okay. Oh, okay. So what it's showing here is... Okay, I get it now. I get it now. Um, when you play an attached unit, you get the option to either play it as its normal self or to attach it. So that's what this is. And attaching triggers faded, and that's where the other plus one came from. For some reason, I thought Yumi's effect was triggering right off the get-go, but no. Putting this on triggered unit, uh, faded unit seems pretty good. No, no, it looks really good, but let's go and see if we can't take a look at the rest of it. Thumbs up the video. And let's take a look at the rest of the cards. Twitter should have stuff for us. Yes, okay. Alright, so we have Yumi, and we have leveled up Yumi. And we also have Yumi's champion spell, which is Prowling Projectile, which is a two-mana fast speed spell. Deal one to a unit, period. Grant an ally plus one attack. Two mana fast speed. To deal one and grant plus one. It's a nice spell. It's a nice spell. Uh, I don't think you'd ever main deck this card. But you could definitely... You're, you won't be sad to see it as a extra copy of Yumi, for example. Especially if you're running her in a faded deck, just having another a target spell. It's nice. And sometimes you just need that one point of chip, chip damage. Like when an opponent barriers during your attack, you can pop barriers or spell shields with it. So it's not bad. And Yumi, again, is actually really good because for three mana, you throw this down onto a unit and you give it plus two, plus two. And about that's about it. Plus two, plus two. And then you pass the turn and it gets plus one, plus one. And then you pass the turn and it gets plus one. That continuously getting plus one, plus one is what makes it great. That and the fact that attach says that when the unit dies, like if your opponent vengeance the unit, Yumi still just pops back to your hand. Yumi doesn't die with the attached unit. It's it's a I like read Yumi this way. If Yumi was a spell that said grant an ally plus two plus two and round start grant an al that that same ally plus one plus one and if that ally ever dies return me to your hand for three mana it'd be stupid i i like this a whole heck of a lot and i'm super super excited to try this attached out uh the prowling projectile again is pretty good I don't think it's main deckable, or there's better you could main deck, but because it's Yumi's champion spell, it's a good thing because there is situations where dealing one's just good. It's just hard for me to imagine running this over mm, Pale Cascade, for example. And Yumi, by the way, yes, I don't know if I mentioned it, is also a Targon Bandlewood champion. So, that makes sense. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next card. Um... Assistant Librarian, a 2-mana two 2-2 two, two faded. Oh, so we got more faded cards, which is really good. Nexus Strike, draw a spell that costs 3 or less? Ooh. Wait. Wait, that's River Shaper, though. That It's like a cheaper River Shaper that gets buffed. Okay. River Shaper. One second, one second. I gotta, I gotta look this up. I gotta look this up. Uh, because 
River Shaper, I believe, does say just any spell. River Shaper is a three mana two two in Ionia that says when I Nexus Strike, draw any spell. I believe. Let me double check. Yeah, Strike. Oh, no, it's on Strike. Okay, so River Shaper is one mana more, but he has he can strike anything, and he draws a spell. This card is Nexus Strike, draw a spell that costs three or less. But it's two mana less. It's one mana less. It's only two mana for a two two, and it has faded, which means it can get buffed pretty big. Your opponent, if you swing with this and you have two open mana, an opponent's not going to want to block it because they're going to be too afraid of you throwing down a Pell Cascade on it and making it a four four out of nowhere. A really good card. Really great support. Um, definitely going into my faded decks. Like, my Pantheon deck will probably run this card. Um, I know it's showed that way in the video, but we'll think of other ways to use it. But just great tech. It pulls your um, your Vigor, your shields that give plus two defense, your Pell Cascades. Uh, what other key Targon cards are there? A uh, Guiding Touch is another big one. Um, yeah, it's just great. Uh, next card, we and it's a Fae. So this is phase support for the cards that we saw yesterday, which is also very nice. Next up, we have Scholarly Climber, which is a 4-mana 5-4 spell shield, Targon Bandle City. Um, It has good stats. I mean, it's a 5-4 for 4, 4, which is not bad at all, With and spell shield is nice. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the card uh, that I this immediately makes me think of is the ruin runner which is a five mana six three spell shield overwhelm but it's not bad it's a common has spell shield it's okay it's okay i i don't have too much to say it's a nice common and it has good stats but i think it's just that so uh moving on uh Uh, oh, okay. So we have Friendship, which is a four mana burst spell, give an ally barrier, or spell shield this round. So this is the same cost as something like uh, Repost, or uh, what is it? Spirit Barrier, or whatever. The, the four mana one that gives barrier and lifesteal. But it doesn't give an additional keyword, and it doesn't give three attack. It just gives barrier. But the plus side is that it can flex into giving spell shield as well. This card has a lot of utility. The card, it, it, the card that immediately jumps to mind, the two big ones, is Repost and Bastion. Bastion only gives... Uh, Bastion grants spell shield and a permanent plus one plus one boost but and barrier only lasts till the end of turn so repost only lasts till the end of turn like oh comparing these two which one would i run i like let, let's let's say i'm in uh playing a pantheon deck or, or any deck i'm playing a targon creature center deck where i'd want to run this card my choice is i can run friendship or i can run bastion It doesn't give permanent spell shield, and it doesn't give the attack bonus, but at the end of the day, if you're popping spell shield, you're doing it in response to something, right? Like, you're doing it because your opponent's about to kill your creature. So sometimes you only need spell shield to last the one turn you need it, because it's going to get popped anyway. So, oh, it's a tough decision. I think this card is as good as Bastion, definitely. And I might even go as far to say that it's actually a little better because of the flexibility. Flexibility is king. I love it when a card can do more than one thing, and that's what this does. Bastion does a great job of permanently buffing your creature one attack and giving the permanent spell shield, but this card's utility can't be understated. Flexing into spell shield or barrier at four mana is a little pricey, but Targon doesn't have a lot of barrier cards. In fact, none really jump to mind. No card that gives barrier, really. So, 
you take what you can get in the regions you have. So if you're playing this in Vandal City Targon, that's your option. And yeah, you're really losing out on the plus one attack, and but that's minimal. I like this card. Friendship is a win. Uh, now we got a whole bunch of fey creatures being dropped. Uh, mm, all right, so let's just start at the end here. We have Rainbow Fish, which is a four mana, two one elusive attach. Uh, four mana, grant an ally elusive and plus two plus one. Is not the worst. Again, if it's in your colors, it, there are better give elusive cards, I feel. But it is a permanent grant. So, yeah, four mana is a little steep, but it's not the worst. Uh, you could definitely throw this onto your um, your Pantheon to give him elusive. And four mana give Pantheon plus two attack, one HP, and elusive is not bad at all. Plus, if Pantheon ever dies, this just comes back to your hand. The fact that these attach cards come back to hand gives them a lot more value, in my opinion, than they normally would. If it was a one-and-done effect, I don't know if it'd be worth it. But the card to compare this one to, of course, is Sumpwork Map. For two mana, you can grant an ally uh, elusive permanently. Is And two mana for two one worth of stats permanently is not a bad ratio. It is all bundled together though so would i pay four mana for two one and elusive permanently in the right deck you would uh this card's potential i think lies in the uh card that we saw yesterday which was the um doo -doo -doo. the face sprout which is manifest a fey and give it plus one, plus one. The fact that these phase, the buffs that you give these Fey will translate to the card that they attach to is big. So Fey Sprout, it's even better now. And if you manifest this, I don't know, you wouldn't run this in your main deck, I don't think. But if you manifested it off of Fey Sprout, then it's a 3-2 elusive for four and with attach. And that is definitely worth it, 100%. So... Not main deck, but a good pull off of Face Sprout. Uh, next card is Papercraft Dragon, which is a Fey. Five mana, two, two, double attack, attach. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. So, the card to compare this one to is Flurry of Fist. Flurry of Fist is four mana. Admittedly at burst speed, but four mana, plus one attack and quick attack. If it already has quick attack, give it double attack instead. Instead, this is for one mana more, plus two, plus two, and just give the double attack. This is a better Flurry of Fist, and it's an epic. It's a good epic. I'll say it right now. This is a good epic. This is going to be an amazing finisher. Oh my god. Just super simple. It's not even that extravagant. I want you to imagine like turn four, you drop your Pantheon. And turn five on your attacking turn, you slap this thing onto it. That's a, uh, let's see, Pantheon's a 4-2. His faded trigger, so he becomes a 7-5. If that's a 7-5 double attack overwhelm on turn 5, that sounds nutty to me. I, oh, this is this is just a better Fleury of Fist. It's so much better. And, and like, wow. Like, just like, this just, and it's in Bandle City. There's so many cards that this can go on to. I mean, of course, any big Overwhelm unit is going to love having this card. But even putting this onto an elusive unit, uh, there's nothing stopping you from doing an all-your-eggs-in-one-basket kind of deal, right? Like, I'm just saying that if I, 
if I was to attach a rainbow fish to my, you know, action or insert card here, I could also attach the papercraft dragon and have a a total of plus four, plus three stats and double attack and elusive, right? Like, that works. I, I don't remember saying that you can only attach to one at a time. Uh, and I, I did not see multiple attachments in the video, but I think that's just because they just didn't do it. We'd have to double check one and com get confirmation, but uh, I'm pretty sure you can attach multiple things to one thing. Um... So, yeah, uh, this Papercraft Dragon actually seems really good. This is, I mean, don't get me wrong. If you get this off a of face sprout, you take it, because now it's a 3-3 double attack. But this is a main deckable card. And I would say that while there's nothing wrong, we, I, it's the best attach unit we've seen, save Yumi, because I think Yumi's spell shield ability is just nutty. Uh, but no, Papercraft Dragon, 10 out of 10. Next card. Um, Quick Quill, 2 mana, 1-1, one, one, Quick Attack, Attach. 2 mana to permanently give plus 1, plus 1 in Quick Attack. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I like this card. Uh, it's a very simple card. It's a very straightforward. It gives an attack boost and Quick Attack. Again, if you get off a of Faith Sprout, it's even better. Um... Yeah, Face Sprout is definitely becoming a three of in a lot of these decks, so you can have options in which Fey you get. Because worst case scenario, you get a Loping Telescope, which is not a bad card. Best case scenario, you can get a Papercraft Dragon or a Quick Quill to give combat stats. It's great. Uh, really good card. Really straightforward. Moving on. Uh, Mushroom Ring. Three mana for a 2-2 two -two Quick Attack. When I'm summoned or round start, give me power this round equal to the number of other allied fey in play or attached. Okay, so as a Bandle City Ionia card, when I'm summoned or round start, so at the beginning of each round and when he's summoned, he's going to get an attack boost based on the total number of attached and in-play Fey. Other. So he doesn't count himself. Okay, so for example, if I had a Loping Telescope and it was attached with the Quick Quill, and then I played this unit, it would get plus two, plus, uh, plus two attack because it would see Loping Telescope and the Quick Quill attached to it. Good card. Uh, it, it's fun. I like it. Um, I like that this isn't in Targon, though thematically it makes sense to be in Ionia. There's a lot of Targon cards with this Yumi stuff, because Yumi is a Targon champion herself. But I like that they branched into other regions with the Fae, specifically Ionia, which has a huge connection to the Fae in lore. So I like to see that it's not just all Targon Vandal City cards, which is good. And, uh, that's everything. Okay. Uh, are all the cards going back to Yumi real quick because I know I talked a lot about her during the video but just another recap because Yumi is I think incredibly powerful I think that this is a very big big buff to certain archetypes what this strikes me immediately, what what immediately jumps to mind is there are, the spell shield is nice, the raw stats is nice. Some other Legends of Runeterra players and YouTubers say that raw stats don't do anything. That, that you're right, raw stats don't win me the game. If I have a 50,000, 50,000, it doesn't mean nothing if you have a 1-1 one, one spider. But that 1-1 one, one spider also ain't attacking into me now, is it? And therefore, stats... And, and stat, big stats are really useful on the right units. And in this case, there are a particular set of them. Dragons, because of their fury, lets them stay healthier than you expect. They get bigger and they get buffed as they kill things. So when you block the big unit, it gets bigger. And eventually you will run out of blockers. Um, regeneration units. Um, Trundle with Yumi on it. Braum with Yumi on it. Like, I know that's a 
that's a turn delayed, but I'm just saying that slapping Yumi onto a Braum is not the worst idea I've ever heard of in the world. Braum's always attacking, always getting the buffs. You can very quickly get it off. The other thing that jumps to mind is if you really wanted to turbo level Yumi, you could run her in scouts just so you could attach her onto something like uh, what would be the best scout unit you could hook Yumi up to? The unit itself will get plus two attacks and pl plus two plus two from Yumi right off the get go. So if you play the scout unit and the next turn you play Yumi, what are we looking for? Quinn is of course one of them, but there's not a whole bunch, but you, you could scout is the idea behind it. If you really want to, I don't think that's the best thing, but dragons and units with regeneration in particular seem really good. Uh, overwhelm units also just love having this. <sighs> Honestly, putting this onto the, um, uh, what is that card? Uh, Give me a second. I'm looking for it. It's it's the it's a rare card from the Frail Yord. the The regenerate overwhelm creature. It, putting this onto that is also a great idea. I feel because Yumi will just constantly buff it up, and it'll heal every turn, just getting bigger and bigger until it start. You have to vengeance it. But the problem is, Yumi. Uh, <laughs> Yumi gives spell shield after a while. Um, and the good thing is, Yumi doesn't have to see the three attacks. Um, because if she if she said, I've seen you attack three times with the attached unit or myself, she wouldn't be good because it's there's no innate protection until she levels up. But she, she levels up fairly easily, I think. She levels up ideally on turn, what, seven? turn seven and that's when you want to be closing out games with your big unit anyway protects you from ruination uh a late game vengeance draw uh will of ionia that i mean special protection from like everything so they have to answer her early but she'll just keep getting played keep getting reattached i could see a brom deck with her or maybe trundle um garen is just big stat stick the deck uh that could also work um Tar uh, Targon, specifically with Pantheon, as we saw in the video, sounds amazing. But she looks super fun and super interesting, and I'm going to love messing around and having deck concepts with her. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm going to close it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any ideas that I didn't cover, or if you heard an idea I did that you liked a lot and you want to see a deck built around it, please leave a comment down below, along with any other deck ideas you have with this that I haven't mentioned because there's a lot to brainstorm with this concept. I like the attached mechanic. I like Papercraft Dragon. I like um, Papercraft Dragon, Friendship, Assistant Librarian, and Yumi are kind of my top picks for these cards. They look great. Fae Sprout got even better. I haven't seen a terrible Fae yet. Like, there are better ones than others, but they're all good so yeah just great face support good stuff leave a comment down below let me know what you're thinking and i will see you for the spoilers tomorrow